Good morning from sunny Charleston. We are back home. The last video we posted was Disneyland Paris. It's been quite a while since we did a home vlog, so I hope you guys are ready for a little update on Ashley and Story. I got my Disneyland Paris shirt on. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Donut wants to say hi. But what have you guys been up to? Because I feel like we haven't talked in forever. Not gonna lie, and this kind of even feels a little weird. Leave me a comment below. How was your Christmas? How was your new year? Uh, what do we have this weekend? This weekend's Super Bowl. Are you guys doing anything fun? We are not. We are staying home. We actually did our grocery shopping a couple days ago because I was not about to go into Publix, you know, the weekend of Super Bowl. We've been kind of hanging out, taking care of things that, you know, most people do in January, evaluating our health. Took Tutu to the vet uh, last week. She has her annual checkup and then we do like a blood panel on her to kind of uh, check on her thyroid and all of that. Um, still waiting for those results, but I think she's doing okay. Vet said that she was maintaining her weight, all that stuff. She looked good. But speaking of thyroid, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this before. When I was pregnant with Story, I had to be put on some thyroid medication because my hormone levels weren't how was it? It like wasn't producing enough of the hormone, the T3 or whatever that is. It wasn't producing enough, so I had to be put on pills for that. And it was always something that I wondered if was like a pre-existing thing for me or if that just, you know, kind of came on with the pregnancy. And I know a story is almost four years old, but I, I really should have gone back to the doctor after she was born and had that tested again, but I, I never did. However, I found this company somewhere, Instagram, Facebook, who knows, it was an ad, um, but it was called Everly Well. And actually I still have the box here so I can show you what it looks like. So they kind of look like this. They're little home kits and they come with everything that you need to take your test for whatever, you know, you're testing. They do all kinds of things, like all kinds of things. So I got the thyroid test and Basically, it gives you the little finger prick things, a couple band-aids, an alcohol swab, all that like medical stuff. And then they give you this card and then there's five circles on there. And basically you, you know, it says wash your hands, do some jumping jacks or like whatever you gotta do to get your blood flowing. And then prick your finger and then drop the blood in these five little uh, spots on this card. I think it was like let it dry for 30 minutes or something like that and then they give you everything that you need to pack it up in like a pre-labeled envelope you ship it back to the lab and then an actual physician will evaluate it and then like test your levels and everything and then email you your results i thought it was really really nice because i think part of the reason that i haven't gone back to the doctor to do this is because it's just me here tim is not here and i would have to take story with me to the doctor and then once you go there, you have to make an appointment at the lab and then, you know, it's just a lot of appointments and then like dragging a toddler with you and that's just not very fun. I put it off for too long. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm gonna do that. So long story short, I did that a few weeks ago. So I mailed that all off. They emailed me like a confirmation that said that they received it and then they gave me an estimated time frame of when I could expect the results. I got the email with the results on February 10th. It is now the 12th. So I got them a couple days ago and I haven't looked at it yet. I don't know what to expect because a big part of me thinks that I do have an underactive thyroid so I'm going to have to be on pills for this every day and I really don't, I, I don't like taking pills. I won't even take aspirin if I don't have to. I'm not 100% like a holistic person, but I try to find alternatives to taking medicine. I don't know. I don't, I don't like being, it's kind of like drinking alcohol. I don't really like not being in control of my own body and thoughts and consciousness. <laughs> and I'm not saying like, you know, a pain pill is going to knock me unconscious, but you know what I mean? Like, I just don't like that feeling of not having my own mind. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling now. Stay with me today. At the end of the video, I'm going to read the results and see what it says. But for now, I'm going to go get story, wake up, do breakfast, do our kind of like normal morning routine. And then we got a box from Tim in the mail. So I was going to open it with you guys and we'll find out what's in it together. Okay, ma'am, what are you having today? Bananas and oatmeal? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to tell your biggest fans watching? We got two more days till Valentine's Day, everybody. Two more days till Valentine's Day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you want to say to them? We are also going to make cookies. And what else? Say, I love you. I love you. There you go. <laughs>
In case you were curious, you might not be, but if you are, this is what I'm having for breakfast and what I've been eating lately. It's a breakfast burrito. I think I have some more. Actually, I can show you the brand. It is... Red's Plant-Based Sausage Egg and Cheese Breakfast Burrito. But this is just easy for me in the mornings. I like to make eggs sometimes and with spinach and all that, but this is easy to pop in the microwave when we're kind of in a hurry and we have other plans. And then I have my cup here of ice water that I always mix with one of these liquid IV packets. Okay, breakfast is over. We're gonna break into this bad boy. This is hard to do with one hand. Okay. Here we go, story. <laughs> Let's see what it is. What is that? <laughs> what is that? A kitty cat. A kitty cat. It looks like a blanket. And the kitty cat's hugging it. Look, her little feet kind of open. Wasn't that cute? What else? Nice packing job, Dada. <laughs> What's this? Let's see. Looks like a box of chocolates. What's this? Hmm. And let me see. What are these? Some lemon curd petty fours. Can I have these right now? <laughs> right now? After breakfast? At uh, 9 20 in the morning? Um. Let's see. Are these... Let's make sure they're not like alcohol or something. Praline, salted, caramel, raspberry cream, and more praline. They look pretty. Can I eat them? Maybe. Let's see what else we have. Some chips. <laughs> Rosemary yes. chips. Look. And... Look. Bolognese flavored chips. They feel kind of broken, but we'll see how they are. And our pair, oh, I left this whenever we went on our trip. I left this, I guess, in Tim's bag or something. It was one of the pins that we got at Disney. What do you say to Daddy? Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. All right, I think we're gonna just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and try these. Which one do you want to try? These lemon curd pity fours here. Which one? The one with the sprinkles? Well, don't touch them all. Just pick one. Okay. Take a bite. See what you think. That wasn't a very big bite. Can I see the inside? Can I see the inside of it? Mmm. It tastes like a macaron a little bit. Tastes like a macaron? <laughs> oh. What other flavor do you taste? Um, maybe it's green apple. Green apple? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Okay, mommy's gonna taste one too. Which one? This, this one. This one with the dot on it? Uh -huh. I'm sure they all taste the same. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. Alright. Mm. They're not all the same. Or well, maybe they are. I don't know. They're pretty good. Very lemony. Uh -huh. But there's this thing in the middle. This is in the middle. Do you have a thing in the middle too? Let me see. You do. Not sure what that is. It's kind of crunchy though. What is that? What am I eating? <laughs> it doesn't say anything on the box oh, about have what that is. Just have like hmm. I don't know. Thing. Pretty good. I just realized though that it says Oots Certified. I'm not sure what that means, but is it the same company as the chips? Like the Oots chips? Okay, we're gonna try these chocolates next. And we have these little domes that look like they're salted caramel, praline, little white hearts and lips, and then raspberry cream cups. What do you wanna try, Story? Um, Don't touch them all, please. Just pick one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like lips. Okay, so that one's praline. See what you think. 
Take a bite. Bite it. Ooh. <laughs> What's on the inside? Chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Mmm. Is it a nut? Let me see. Hmm. Okay, normally I would go for the praline first, but since she just ate one, I'm gonna do the salted caramel one. Maybe. You like that one later? Mm -hmm. That one's good. Mm -hmm. It does feel weird uh, eating oh, chocolate this one was so weird. at 9.30 in the morning. Alright, because we're on a roll, we might as well try one from here too. I like this one. Okay, open it up. Mm. Here it is. Show it to me. Oh, it looks like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> Looks like a bubble gum. Mm -hmm. It sounds crunchy. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's enough for this morning. You want me to try one? Yeah, will you open it for me? I want to try to bite it in half so I can see what's on the inside. Tastes like it has little crispies. Of the three, this is probably my favorite. These taste like the Ferrero Rochers that you can get here in the States. Maybe it's like little hazelnut crispies. These are good. These are my favorite. So some time has passed. We played outside a little bit this morning and raked up leaves. And Story just dropped a, what'd you drop? A tomato or a carrot? A mayo. Your tomato? Well, she's got a peanut butter sandwich. We're out of jelly, so we're just using our American Dream butter. How look is it? In, look inside, everybody. Look inside, everybody. It's one tough cookie is the flavor, and it has, what does it have? Oreo cookies, um, chocolate chip cookies, and I think M&Ms in it. It's my kind of peanut butter, but it has protein. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link that in the description down below. But basically, it's protein nut butter. They have cashew butter, peanut butter, almond butter, and they're delicious. You just dropped part of your sandwich. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we're going to have our lunch. I think I'm going to try these weird chips that Tim sent in the box today. I like it. Story just ate one. She said it's good. What's it taste like? Mm. Is it spicy? Is it cheesy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're probably the worst people to taste these because I've never actually had bolognese. Have you? Uh uh. No? Hmm. Tastes like a Lay's potato chip. It kind of tastes, I don't want to say smoky, but like earthy? What is that flavor? Flopping. Strawberry? <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess I expected it to taste kind of like spaghetti, like marinara sauce and something else, but it doesn't really. Hmm. I don't know. It's got a picture of like some onions and garlic on the front and tomatoes mm. baked in sunflower mm. oil. Story's trying to steal my carrots. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you like our Christmas tree we still have over there? <laughs> yeah. Okay, lunch is over and I got Story upstairs napping right now. Thank you, nap gods, because I don't know if I told you, but after we got back from Europe, there was no more naps for her. I thought that they were just over forever. We went a couple weeks without her having a single nap, and it was rough. It was very rough, but we've worked that back into our schedule. Thank God, because she needs it. I just got a phone call from the vet. We, like I was mentioning earlier, we took Tutu to the vet for her annual checkup. Last week, they called back with the blood results the lab results, whatever you want to call it, and everything looked good. Her thyroid levels looked good. They also tested for UTI, and she has one. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to take her back in on Monday because they have an antibiotic shot that they can give her. They gave me the option of doing like a syringe with a liquid medication twice a day for a week or doing this one-time shot. So we're going for the one-time shot. It was a difference of like $20, so I figured let's just get this over with one time because we already do the pills twice a day. I don't want to traumatize her with, you know, something else. So we're all just, we all have these health issues now. We're all getting older and we just gotta take care of our 
crippling bodies, I guess. What is it, three o'clock now? I have a little bit more time before Story wakes up. She'll probably wake up here in the next 20, 30 minutes. Um, I'm gonna get some editing done and get this video started. Later tonight, I'm going to check on the thyroid results. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. It's already dinner time, so I was not gonna show this, but then I figured I used to do this all the time with you guys, so maybe you are curious in what we're having for dinner tonight. So we have these Martha meals that we're still using. I'm not doing like three meals a week anymore like we used to. I'm just doing one, maybe two sometimes. But today we're having these black bean burgers with sweet potato fries and Dijonese, which I think is just mayonnaise and Dijon mustard. I've already gotten started. This is a black bean burger, so obviously we're using black beans. I have them draining right here. And then we're having sweet potato fries. This is just one sweet potato cut up into quarter size pieces with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I've got my toppings right here with my buns. This is just a Roma tomato sliced up two buns. They give you a whole head of romaine lettuce. Story and I are not going to eat a whole head of romaine lettuce in, for these burgers because this is just like a topping for the, you know, to go on top of the patty. So I just got a couple pieces of that and then the rest of it I just chopped up so we can have like maybe a little chopped Caesar salad later this week. So now I have to make the patties. So I have to get the beans, mash them all up, and then mix some stuff in it, and then make the patties, and then cook them. I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. I don't know how well this is gonna, gonna work, but we'll see. Okay, there's my beans. Now I have to mash them up and then add garlic, panko, steak seasoning, and one egg yolk. Okay, my battery's gonna die, so I'm gonna hurry up, but here is my mixture. I'm gonna make three patties. I'm supposed to make two, but I'm gonna make three and make them small. I'm gonna cook them on the skillet. Here's all my toppings. I'm gonna throw those together with my burger patties when I get these done, get my fries out of the oven, and that's dinner. There's my patties cooking up. They get about two to three minutes on each side. There's dinner. Okay, oh. I just got in bed and left my laptop sitting over on the dresser. <laughs> it is about nine o'clock now. I just got Story to sleep a little bit ago. Got the dishwasher going downstairs. And now it's time for me to get a little bit of work done. Dinner was pretty good though. But now I told you guys that I wanted to check those test results for the thyroid test that I did with Everlywell. I just need to pull up the email. Here we go. Thyroid test results. View here. I don't know why I'm nervous about this, but I'm just, I'm not the kind of person that likes to take pills. I think I said that already, but I just don't want to have to take pills. Okay. Hi, Ashley. Your thyroid test is complete. All your levels were normal. Normal levels of these markers are good signs for your thyroid health. High five. Okay, well, that's good news. Good. I'm like relieved, but at the same time, I'm like a little bit baffled. I was like 90% convinced that I had some kind of issue. I know you're not supposed to Google like what's wrong with you when you have like one really vague symptom, but I did and I thought for sure with everything that it said, unexplained weight gain, which just fatigue, like extreme fatigue. There were some other things too I can't name off the top of my head, but uh, I could check a lot of those boxes and I thought for sure this was going to be the answer to a lot of those issues. But now that I know that this is not the cause, I've got to figure out what else I can do to make myself feel better. I feel like anything I say after that sentence is going to be it's, it's gonna come out like an excuse. And at the end of the day, I guess that's just what it is, but that's what I'm dealing with right now. I'm just, I'm tired all the time. I wanna lose weight. I wanna eat healthier. I wanna feel better. Because when I eat healthier and I get exercise, I do feel better. Uh, but I guess I'm just having a hard time trying to figure out how to fit that in my schedule and then also dodge all of these things that are just coming at me. I really didn't want to make this a long vlog, but I feel like there's so much to catch up on with you guys because we haven't done like a home vlog like this in, gosh, it's been like over a month, maybe even two, because we did a lot of Germany and Paris stuff and then there just wasn't anything for a while. And that's part of the reason is because I just needed some time to just kind of like figure out what I need to do to make myself feel better. That's why I took this test to see if this could have potentially been one of my answers. And now it's not an answer. So now I'm back to the 
drawing board on figuring out what I need to do to make myself feel better. So this is kind of a bittersweet ending to this. I think the closer we get to the end of this deployment, the harder it gets. And it, it's pretty consistent with the previous deployments that we've had. It's just always harder at the beginning and at the end because you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but you just can't get there fast enough. It makes time just come to a screeching halt. I'm tired. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. I just need my best friend here. We've got a lot of family stuff going on too that I haven't really talked about on camera. When you have stuff like that going on in your personal life, it's hard to focus on work or, you know, anything creative like the channel and um, it just kind of makes it difficult to like really, just to really like see your vision for yourself because all you can see are the problems and the worry and the anxiety. Anyways, I'm gonna log off tonight, but thank you guys for hanging out with us. It's been a good day today, I think. It wasn't too exciting, but if you guys like this kind of thing, I always tell you to hit the like button down below. Let me know if this is the kind of video that you like to see. I will say that I've noticed on the channel that our travel slash trip videos or like destination videos, they do really well. And I think it, that's obvious. I mean, I think that that's not like a huge surprise, but if you're into those kind of videos, I would just encourage you to stay tuned because we do have several trips coming up. And if you like home vlogs, you may get a few more of those before Tim comes home. But when Tim comes home, we're going to have a lot of house projects. So if that's up your alley, get ready because I've got a long list of things for him to do around here. But thanks again, you guys. I appreciate you hanging in there with me. Have a good night and we will see you on the next one.